Irve Fillion returning to victory lane. And Bill O'Donnell is probably wishing his helicopter had moved a little bit faster. Caressable, the unofficial winner of this two-year-old Philly pace in the Breeders' Crown. We'll be back with more from Yonkers Raceway and take another look at Caressable, the winner of the Breeders' Crown two-year-old Philly pace after this time. We're back at Yonkers where the race is official. Caressable is the winner of the two-year-old Philly Pace in the Breeders' Crown. Her stablemate out of the Houghton Stable, Valentina, getting second in the photo finish. And Razzle Hanover, the second choice, getting third. Form certainly held. Kenny Rice is trackside with a man who was very happy to pick up a late ride here tonight. Let's get on to Kenny. Thanks, Sharon. Indeed he is. Herve, you were sitting around back there, and they said, Bill O'Donnell can't make it, but you drive tonight. Well, uh, Billy came to the paddock to me. He said, it looks like they ain't going to make it, so... Irvy, would you raise that? Take a shot with that mare. I said, why not? I said, you can't win him if you're not in him. <laughs> well, what do you think about Caressable now? Well, Caressable, she's a nice, real nice filly. She pro her record proved that, and I was lucky enough. They had a fast half, and uh, at the five eights, I had a chance to move out, so I took advantage of it. And around the last turn, she, I moved kind of early with, on uh, Michael Lachent that was in front because the filly fell real good, you know. She fell real good, and I moved her, and uh, she won breeze. I didn't have to go to the whip with her. I just pushed on her, and she was strong all the way. You were able to conserve a little bit. They get out to a fast time of 58 for the first half, and as we see right here coming around for this final half here, you were able to save some ground by standing along the rail. Uh, yeah, you, around the first turn, uh, you know, we left out of there kind of quick, so uh, I just kind of steady her around the first turn, and I got in the two-hole, and right there, the three-quarter pull there, I, I knew the fitting was real strong, so I move her early coming off the turn, and she went pretty handy. She's just a... Real good filly, that's all I can say. Did you expect Mike Lachance to get out so fast with Razzle Hanover going wide early in the race and setting the pace? Well, I, I figured that Mike will be out there winging, you know, pretty good, you know, go for the lead because that filly, she's a real top filly, and uh, they're all a good bunch of filly, you know, when they make it there, so they're top filly. See, you see right here, I just push on her. She was strong all the way. I had no trouble. She's just a great filly. When you called on her, she had it? Oh, yeah, she was strong all the way. I was just a passenger. had no trouble at all. How good is this horse? First time you had a chance to really see her up close. Well, she her record. Her record proved that she's top filly, and she proved it again tonight. And the way she did it, she did it kind of easy, and she was strong all the way. Well, you were a good passenger. No, I was just a nice passenger out there. It was, <laughs> felt good all the way. <laughs> Congratulations. Yet another trip for Herbert Villion to the winner's circle. Much. Congratulations. <laughs> And as you can hear, always one of the favorites here at Yonkers. As you take a look at Caressable, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kenny. She's a little excitable in the winner's circle down there. And she should be. She's now a very rich filly. In fact, the richest two-year-old pacing filly ever. She's taken that title away from Follow My Star, who couldn't race here tonight. So Caressable, a daughter of the great Niatros, has won the Breeders' Crown two-year-old filly pace. There's lots more ahead here at Yonkers Raceway in New York. We will take a short time out and be back with more of the winner's circle ceremony for the Philly Caressable. Well, it's official and the uh, payoffs are posted. Caressable, the winner of the Breeders' Crown two-year-old Philly Pace, paying $343.210. $3 Her stablemate Valentina was second. The payoff's obviously the same. If you had either one, you've got the payoff. Razzle Hanover finishing third, paying $210 to show. So that is uh, the official order of finish, the first three finishers in the Breeders' Crown two-year-old Philly Pace. It's just about time for the trophy presentation, so let's go down to the winner's circle. Okay, Sharon, it's time for Bob Bonney to get yet another trophy. Bob, on behalf of Tim Rooney, Yonkers Raceway, and the Hamiltonian Society, congratulations to you, your Wall Street Everyone Stables, too. Thank you very much. Hervé, great race, nice Thank Philly. You. Congratulations, Sharon. Congratulations, Bob. You want to sit that down or hold it? I mean, I'll hold on to it. I mean, right. you're used to these trophies now. Congratulations, Bob Bonney, Wall Street Stable. And Caressable comes through with the victory tonight. Uh, your thoughts on her race? She's a hell of a filly, and it was a, in with a great bunch of fillies, and I'm real just tickled to death with this mile. For Wall Street, it has been a, a banner year, and for the last couple of years with Nia later with the two fillies tonight, you just keep finding them, don't you? They're all by Nia Trust. That helps. That helps a lot. Well-bred group we had here tonight. Yeah, a hell of a bunch of fillies, some great, great fillies in there. It's a real honor to beat these fillies. Caressable did not get the attention that the stablemate Valentina was getting, yet no one was doubting her either in tonight's race. I agree with that, but Valentina is a great, great mayor. She's been there right from the beginning of the year, so as I said, it's an honor to, be, to compete with these fillies, nevertheless beat them. What do you think has made Caressable so good for you this year? She has obviously been consistent. Maybe some people were wondering, would the layoff hurt a little bit? How would she do? She's a real credit to the Houghton Stable. This filly was a tough filly to break. Uh, her groom homie in the Houghton Stable, Robbie Roberts in particular, I can't say enough the job they did for her because she's been a tough filly all along, and they did a sensational job with this filly. Congratulations again, Bob. Thank you. Bob Bonney, one of the owners of Caressable, and the celebration continues down here. Sharon?